All right, welcome to the Two Woke Boys, episode 103. I am Chris. And I'm Cole. And together, we are Two Woke Woke Boys. Boys. We are here, episode 103. I am not wearing a Futures female shirt. I am wearing my rainbow-colored Yas Queen shirt. Uh, It is no longer pride, no homo, but... Sometimes your future's female shirt is in the wash mm. because I was, you know, I was uh, doing stuff for women yesterday. Okay. So I needed to wear my future's female shirt. And now it's. What were you doing for women yesterday? Just wearing the shirt. Okay. It's pretty much it. Yeah. You know, just I, wearing it around town, yeah. hoping women would stop you. Mm-hmm. And if they didn't approaching women be like hey you see my shirt yeah you see this I, look hey look. I, I care about you right you know that guy that's holding your hand that you guys are clearly together yeah he doesn't his have fucking yeah. shirt he's not wearing a shirt he's wearing a shirt that says like broncos like he right yeah that's cool oh some sports yeah. ball hey, team. Uh, the, my team I'm throws sure a ball respect, and, yeah yeah fuck you dude i'm sure that guy respects women probably not fucking how many it. women are on the Dow da- or on the what denver broncos none zero Except the cheerleaders. Yeah, which but. that's see, I would cheer for them. Right. For that's the who I go. I go when I go to a football game. I try and sit as close as I can to the cheerleaders, mm. and I'm just like locked in, locked in. I never even look at the game. Wow. And I'm just like cheering for them. I'm like, yeah, you, yeah, blonde girl, yeah, what's up? Uh huh. Come. Then I'm like pointing at my. Sh- it doesn't say yes. Well, yes, queen does apply. Yes. Because because they are queens. Yeah, you're a girl boss, and like, you know, I'll be like, hey, I. Technically, full disclosure, I used to be on the cheerleading squad at my college. That's right. That's right. Because I was a mascot. So, you know, so if you're a woman and you're one of those like uh, f- you're, you're a flyer, you know, the ones that go on the top of the pyramid. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get in there and I'll, I'll hold you from the bottom. Yeah. With and one I, hand, like a one beast, hand. like yeah. Atlas mm-hmm. holding up the. Mm-hmm. the globe the just earth. Up. and that's what you are you are the world to right. me as i hold you up with with my one hand and then you know my fingers are in a couple places right for so security for, su- for, for support, support. Yeah. right yeah what stability right what animal were you as the mascot uh i was a marlin oh, okay i was a big fish okay so and i mean we are both big fish mm-hmm. so we are big fish does, in a small pond that's right of What's the small pond? Earth? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, because we're on YouTube. Podcasts, which is maybe? Kind of an ocean of content. Other fish, yeah. Yeah. But we are the biggest fish. Yeah. Well, actually, we're a small fish because we are victims. Oh, right. Yeah, right? Because, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, we want to put ourselves in a victim situation. Right. And we are total victims. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. The everyone is just out to get us. Mm-hmm. The not the straight white men version of us, but like the woke. Right. I don't. I don't even know. <laughs> privilege that we don't have. The what, fact. The fact that we are. We are fighting, acknowledging our privilege. Right. But we identify so, as the oppressed. most. Yeah. 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 So yeah. the fact that you're. Let, let me try to clear things up. The fact that we are fighting against the part, the patriarchy, fighting against white privilege fighting against America, mm-hmm. you know, we have all these enemies You're right. that are against us. Mm-hmm. So we are small fish. The, but we, we're also fighting the status quo, even yeah, though we yeah. agree with all even the Even though we agree with the government opinions. and all the biggest corporations 100% of yeah. the time and only have the most acceptable yeah. opinions and viewpoints, we're still fight the power, yeah. punk rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like, um, what was that... Uh, there was like a commercial for like Coke where like was it one of the Jenners gave like a oh, yeah. Coke to a, to a cop. Yeah, to yeah. A cop yeah, to Kylie stop Jenner. Her. Right. And that's how that's to the stop kind of being unity. Mean to the protest. Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of unity that we're all about. Yeah, we we will lo- give you we a Coke. love that commercial, by the way. That yeah. was because we love celebrities just mm. just kind of hopping in on a social trend and mm. cashing in. And that's not what we're trying to do and what this podcast that, we're is not, all. We, we are, are not, we are not opportunists just Coke trying to, to monetize. 
Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We're, we're not just trying to monetize this whole bullshit to make money and and when we say bullshit we mean like good, good stuff <laughs> right yeah no, the bullshit this I, isn't bullshit no, at no. all i mean by bullshit i mean like the the people who are against us like oh, those yeah, are the yeah, bullshitters yeah yeah you know? no doubt yeah yeah the people that think that our podcast is bullshit right because we say all the most popular opinions and agree with everybody on everything all yeah. the time those people are bullshit correct yeah Anyone criticizing us is bullshit. Right. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, and if you don't get that, then maybe you're just too dumb maybe for this podcast. Yeah. Ever thought about that? Maybe listen to 102 previous episodes and learn something. Yeah. You know, some Educate people say yourself. read a book, but don't read a book. No. Read, listen to our podcast. Listen to an audio book. Mm-hmm. of this podcast yeah which is not a book which is at all. just a it's, podcast yeah it's yeah. not an audio book at all it is the same but it can thing count as, a, as one yeah yeah it's the same thing as an audio book in that someone is talking and it's words. just as educational is it ours i mean we're yeah it's we more are, educational yeah you know what? our podcast this is an educational podcast yeah you're right i would have put it in the educational category but yeah. i ran out of categories right because I, I mean, we're educational. We're mental health. Mm-hmm. We're dating and relationships. Sex and relationships. Yes. Yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I think sex. that's covered under dating. But yeah, it's a sex positive yeah. podcast. Right. Body positive. Mm-hmm. But um, so, only so much body positivity. Right. Not too much. Right. Body positivity. Right. Because too much body positivity will turn into some massive negativity. Exactly. And you don't yeah. want to see us Yeah, because it's like a circle, right? Yeah. Like, and if you are shaped like a circle, it kind of is a, it shows the, the positivity loop, right? Right. Because that's what that is. Right. If you have too much po- body positivity, it comes back around to meet negativity right there. Right. From us. Yeah. 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 negative negativity from us but mm-hmm. no we love all women are beautiful of course and whatever and you know yeah so we're, what other were yeah, a, yeah. a history yeah. we're yeah. a history podcast yeah yeah we are a political we, podcast of course world events news. some people call it alternative history because right. we're saying the things that like not everybody says right i guess but we're saying the stuff that like the textbooks don't teach you mm-hmm yeah, like you know. they'll they'll say like here's a historical event and how this country became a country and then we're gonna be like uh, racism um, happened. Actually, colonization. Yeah, yeah, and that was bad. Yeah, yeah. Although that's how we are is. on stolen land, by the way. Yeah, we we are gonna do a land acknowledgement. Yes, of, thank you. Yeah, there was a Chinese lady that used to live in this apartment before I moved in. Interesting. I didn't force her out. Yeah, what happened to her? Uh, she just moved out because of uh, Asian hate. Okay, it wasn't was... just because she found another place to live? It, yeah, but no, she left the country during the oh. pandemic because oh. she was afraid of all the Asian hate oh, that was God. happening. That's yeah. terrible. It was unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. And it definitely wasn't me being like, this is your fault. What the fuck? Yeah, you know, I it hope It wasn't you me yeah, doing that. I definitely that. hope I wasn't you didn't doing, do that. Cause that. I didn't do that at yeah, all. I that... love... Chinese people and I love Chinese food and Mm -hmm. I like Chinese women yeah if if there's any Chinese women out there Mm -hmm. who have been hated on with this with all this Asian hate the last couple years hit us up in our DMs and Mm -hmm. we won't Asian hate you we will Asian love you how about that we'll show you some love Oh, wait. No, yeah. I'm speaking there you go that's a little better Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess better than how dare you so yeah, we'll I'm show you. Come. Yeah, right. And maybe even we'll be saying that if. Yeah, you'll definitely be saying that. Yeah. Because that's how. If things progress to that level yeah. and, you know, you want to counteract that hate and and hate crime stuff you've experienced with some love. Some love that's what the boys us. are all about. Yeah. Yeah. It's a love podcast. Right. Right. And yeah. that's what we're, we're trying to spread our love to as many mm-hmm. hot women as possible. We're single. It's just a good message. Or, yeah. 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 Right. It's a message yeah. of love. And yes, about 90% of this podcast is us just raging and freaking out and threatening to kill our enemies. Yeah. But we are <laughs> yeah. very empathetic. It's all about, yeah, but it's, we come from an empathetic place. Right. When you scream, be more empathetic at someone, that means you're the most empathetic. 
right. you care the most because you're screaming at exactly. another person like in their face. Right. And if you sometimes you have to beat the empathy into another yeah. person. Yeah. Because they're not being empathetic. Fucking empathetic. Yeah, I'll enough. show you what empathy is yeah, all about. Hey, bitch, I got you yeah, fucking be deliver empathetic. some empath empathy yeah. right you into You take the your fist and you just fucking yeah. rock them in the jaw yeah. with your empathy. Or right in the drywall, right next to their head. That's yeah. Right. Sometimes you just got to fucking light up that wall. That's right. To send a message. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know. You want to hear it from, from the people in the back, you know that? How the people That's say right. that. This podcast is for the people in the back. And by the people in the back, we mean the people next door on the other side of the wall that we just punched a hole through. Yes. That's so, right. Yeah. So, well, yeah, we'll get into the topics. There's a lot of turmoil going on in the world. Well, first, before I, I want to, since we were talking about spreading our love and just to as many women as possible, someone else who's trying to do that is Elon Musk. He is spreading his love and his seed to countless women around the world. He It just came out that he had secret twins with an executive at Neuralink, one of his companies. Her name is Siobhan Zillis. They had secret twins in November. I think it was right before or after he had a kid with Grimes, mm -hmm. the singer who he's no longer with everyone that person everyone he hooks up with sounds like a like a bot right some sort of like Grimes alien is, character yeah. yeah and then what was the other one siobhan zillis yeah it sounds like the name of a ai character yeah. or something yeah and then you see what that he named his kids like the ones it's he's like not. a math equation like a divided by e12 that's, square root of four. Are you serious? Yeah, that's the name of the kids. Of well, one of the the one of the kids with Grimes. Yeah, it's like a math equation. Okay. But I think the the um like whatever office you file your birth certificate with in the state, I think they like didn't allow one of those names because it was too crazy. Really? Yeah. They were like your number kid can't right. be. Yeah. How does that work with alphabetical order? Do you go first because it's a number in it? Yeah, well, yeah. I, th I think they said you can't have a number in your name or like a special character. Wow. Yeah. See, I've Which only, is, we, we, we would be mad at that, but we hate Elon Musk. Yeah. So we're glad that the court shut him and his weird ass okay, wife down. Okay, let's clarify. We are mad at that, but not in this case. That's how our logic works. You yes. see what I'm saying? R like right. we, we actually think that that's bad, but in the application it's being used, it's good. Right, because we hate Elon Musk, so anything against him is cool. Yes. And so also Grimes, if you're listening, they broke up, so she's probably single now. Single mom too, but we would make an exception for her. Hit us up in our DMs, and I mean she's kind of a – kind of looks and seems a little – weird and out there but hey you know we love our alt queens out there yeah you know we'll be down with a little alt girl every now and then right yeah spice things up i gotta fix something on the camera i forgot okay we're gonna is this re recording still recording all right all right so so yeah so elon musk he yeah he knocked up this executive and just how i mean who would wield their position of power as a ceo and owner over a underling at their company and like knock them up and get them pranked. Certainly not us. We would never do something like that. Well, well, we first of all, there's no one under us. I mean, we have. Uh, but we want there to be. Yeah, for sure. We are looking for an a female intern, intern because, female because yeah. we want to hire women because this is a this is women's a feminist podcast. podcast. Yeah, yeah. Right now, we're staffed with. It's you, me, and Alex. And yes, it's, who's uh, unfortunately who's a, a man. man. And, yeah, yeah. And, and um, we need. We some... apologize for that, but yeah. but also, you know, we do need a woman. We absolutely need a woman. So if you want to be an intern for us on this podcast, hit us up in our DMs, and we will be your bosses. And you know, we would never impregnate you like Elon Musk, because if we did impregnate you, we would. Be like, all right, you got to take this pill now. Yeah, we're so, also making sure. So that's part of like, we're going to put the job up on LinkedIn. Yeah. 
So when you also uh, we're using uh, Tinder and Bumble for the of the course job yeah, as yeah, well. yeah 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 I'm, we're looking everywhere right so we're but we're on Bumble BFF or whatever that bullshit or, or thing Bumble is work oh yeah, Do, yeah don't they have there a like business a one networking one yeah yeah which if you're swiping aren't you still swiping on pictures anyway so it's still like looks based I, yeah, I don't like how does that work I don't know I got kicked off of Bumble a long time ago nice. so I I haven't yeah. tried it but why did you get kicked off of Bumble? You know, messages that apparently were threatening. And mm. it, it's just, like I said, enemies. People are out to get us. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's just. If you have haters, you're doing something right. You're doing right, something though. right. Yeah. yeah. If you have all haters and no supporters, mm -hmm. then all those people are the problem. Yeah. Never. You, it should never be a time for reflection and introspection. Yeah. God, everyone hates me. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. They're all wrong. It's definitely that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like you, even if your own family has disowned you, yeah. it's their even fault. more so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many haters. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, we're just we're trying to find this female intern and and. I was gonna say the the re the requirements that I've put up on LinkedIn, you know, I put uh, height, uh, you know, weight, weight, yeah, BMI, yeah, BMI, um, breast size, you know, right, uh, hip to waist ratio. Yeah, that's important. Uh, there's a lot of stats I'm putting on there. Um, Some would ask why that's necessary for. Well, it's a very physical an job, right? There's a lot of physicality required in being an intern right. for the two woke boys because we're be gonna we're gonna work you. We're just gonna pound you real good with, you know? with uh, responsibilities work. and work. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, is is the internship gonna pay? Uh, no, absolutely. Okay. It's gonna pay in uh, experience. There you go. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, you'll get you. You better come. You better come with some experience if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because yeah. two woke boys like girls with experience. Right. You know, but not too much. I mean, Jesus Christ. You yeah, know? but we support that. Though. We support that. Yeah, and then once you bring your experience here, this is the only place your experience will be happening. Yes. Okay. So, and then, um, you know, I guess, you you have to be willing to do it on tape you know on video you know? oh okay so that's like yeah. another thing i mean if if she we're trying wants, to right of course yeah well yeah. that's what i'm saying she has to consent to it right because that's part of the internship right that that is requirement so is, is making sex tapes we didn't saying, say sex uh, okay. tapes but there's work that will be there's done on camera work like we're yeah. on camera right now yeah, yeah we're not having this, sex that would be gay yeah we're this is no oh homo. my god, god yeah dude. jesus christ how dare you no like i'm homo. mad you even like brought that up i didn't as say a, sex you did you said we're not having sex which makes me think like no. there's a possibility or yeah. that anyone could even consider the idea of us having, that we're gay. Yeah, yeah, God, we are so not now gay. Now, I am wearing a rainbow Yas Queen shirt, right. and some would say that we do look pretty gay right yeah. now, but we are and not. And people are constantly accusing us in our social media comments of being gay, but mm -hmm. look, there's nothing wrong with that. We wish, not only do we're we support like those kind the gay of guys community, that are, we wish we were gay. Yeah, we so wish, much, but, but we're not. Unfortunately, we're just so fucking straight we just like, like are addicted to push yeah sexuality is a spectrum and we are at the furthest thing away from we're at the like straightest it's, yeah yeah like, i mean our listeners out there the men listening the so-called straight men listening i mean you you probably fall somewhere in like you know two-thirds kind of gay yeah kind, you kind of fall you into the kind of gay yeah, area we have zero there's we not have, a fucking chance dude no, yeah at all zero like if uh, we were you know the the protractor like that measures yep. like angles yep. there's no fucking angle zero it's like one hand 180 it's just degrees one line there's not yeah. even a second line no there's no yeah you can't draw the little square yeah. in there. yeah yeah because like i'm so straight i don't and i've talked about this before i don't even know if other men are attractive yeah people say to me like "Ooh, chris like he's a he's a real catch he's like six seven and he he has this 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 Jesus look to him and, mm -hmm. and I'm like what what are you trying to are you trying to ask if I want to bang him yeah. like what what's yeah, what, what are you, are you doing here? me well, about that yeah. yeah I don't I don't know if he's yeah. I don't know if he's good looking like I don't yeah that's yeah. crazy yeah. yeah so I don't know if you're good looking I I do know that I'm good looking yeah um I'm like I'm probably like the best looking mm -hmm. um so I know that 
there's that. I'm also like a really good guy. I'm really nice. I'll be like much nicer than anyone, any other guys. Like these, we are the nicest. We are guys. the nicest guys. Mm -hmm. And and I mean, you know, we've like we're not currently in jail for assault. Yeah. I mean, we've gotten out. We've been yeah. many times, yeah. but we clearly you have the a very courts connect decided that they were wrong. Yeah. And the guy that you know we had to teach a fucking lesson to, he learned his lesson. Right. And now it's cool. And also, your very well connected father may have played a yeah, role. Yeah, doesn't in, doesn't have anything to do with that. Yeah, at the all. length of your sentence, but yeah, yeah. So we're so in summary, we're extremely straight. We wish we were gay, but we're not. And we're looking for straight women to yes. be an intern. Yes, and have a bunch of, you know, work on a bunch of projects. Dialogues, right, right. Yeah, projects. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, some, yeah, some there's projects. Some, yeah, there will going be on. winking going on. Yes, winking, uh, winking face, devil emoji. That's right. But we would never, we would never like have kids with an intern because that would be fucked up abusing mm -hmm. our higher position of power we would never do that because she will be taking plan b that's well and there will be a plan a in place too which will be birth control right she will be on multiple birth controls yes. there will be a uh, pill pill iud ring thing yep the shots yeah we'll put you'll be on every one yeah we'll yeah whatever i, I don't think that's i don't know recommended, anything about but yeah but if you'll, you mix you'll them be all doing up, it yeah. yeah that's fine yeah so, you, you know, we just want what's best for mm -hmm. our, our queens out there. And so, yeah, hit us up if you want to be that unpaid intern for our podcast. Yeah. But so I want to get to this. So Elon Musk, he is pulling out of the Twitter deal, yeah. right? He was going to buy Twitter. Now he's pulling out because he wanted information about, like, how many of the accounts were fake. It, Twitter apparently wouldn't provide that or not to his liking. And he's pulling out of the deal. Also, their stock prices come way down as the rest of the market has in the last month or two since he said he was buying Twitter. Is that Twitter. a buy right now? I mean, I, I guess. What's it at? It's, it went from like 50-something to 30, 36 okay. or something like that. But, yeah, so he pulled out of the Twitter deal, and I have a really funny joke that I'm going to make. That oh, dude, I can't definitely... wait. I can't wait. I, I guarantee you it's something we've never heard before and yeah. we've not seen on Twitter 30, yeah, you times. haven't seen it on Twitter. You haven't seen it any other social media. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. So Elon Musk is pulling out of this Twitter deal, right? Guess it's the first time he's ever pulled out of anything. God, I'm so funny and so smart. And that was brilliant. Just don't search for that exact joke on Twitter that's been it definitely hasn't been made thousands of times. Yeah, like if times. you start to type that in Google, it will, will auto-finish auto it. Yeah, the whole joke will be auto-finished. Right. It's because of this podcast. I was the mm -hmm. first person to yeah. say it. So Yeah, even though this podcast will come out like... A week delayed now, after, yeah, yeah post yeah. after recording. But mm -hmm. but still, just don't look into it. So, so yeah, he he knocked up this lady and he's, he has this... He's been talking about for a long time how like the birth rate is declining and he's like, we need to keep, he's like, we need to increase the birth rate. And he's saying like, oh, I did nothing wrong. Um, you know, knocking up this this employee, like I'm just trying to that save humanity. His, that was yeah, his. Yeah, he was saying that. So like he and Nick Cannon have had about <laughs> 10 kids apiece. They're doing the whole just knocking up the world thing. Like Amish family right. kind of situation. Right. Yeah. And we hate that so much because we are not ready we we are not there's a global warming situation yeah. oh you're really gonna bring kids into this change. world to have them be killed by the climate the climate gonna kill us all yeah the temperature is gonna fluctuate but like in a bad way yes which is what it's doing now which is kind of the same it's how could been, you bring a kid into this world this is the worst that the world has ever been mm -hmm. definitely the worst america has been yep for People of color, for yeah, women. definitely for for people of color. Right now is the when worst has been time. a worse time for Black people than 2022 in America. I can't think of a worse time. Yeah, there's the there systemic racism be... in America is way worse than it ever has been. Mm -hmm. White supremacy is at an all time high in America. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, that also, makes a lot of sense too. Same for women. Mm -hmm. Same for homosexuals. Mm -hmm. Same for other 
disenfranchised people. It's definitely the worst and less equal for people now than had than it has ever been. Also, if you're a minority in America, you have it worse than any other country mm -hmm. in the world because America is the worst country. We are the least free mm -hmm. and least open country. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. And that, that definitely makes sense. Yes. If you talk to anybody, like when I, I landed uh, in the – from uh, being on the road, I went to uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. To do I hope shows. you were just telling people how dumb they were. Yeah, for, of course. So oh, when, I live in Indiana in the Midwest. Yeah. yeah so when I when I, I landed, you berated all of them. Yeah. I, I definitely did. Good. And when I landed back here in LAX, I was picked up by a Chinese lady from Hong Kong, who fled China. Because, you know, Hong Kong became, you know, governed by China. Overtaken by China, yeah. yeah. And she said it was really bad. So, but I was telling her that, well, it's worse here. Yeah. I, yeah, you, I you hope escaped you escaped to the wrong place. Right. I hope you told her that America sucks and that China is has much more freedom. Mm -hmm. They uh, we love I tried China. to let her know, but she like wasn't getting it because her, her language barrier and, you know, she was saying it. She was saying stuff like, I live there, you fucking idiot. Like, I know what it's like. I, I literally had to escape from there. Kind of sounds like perfect English to and me. And it's like, well, yeah, but she was saying it not like that. Oh, okay. You know? Okay. Like she, and you don't like, have to do an impersonation. I mean, I, I think, will. Yeah. I'll do it, yeah. but, you know. I think yeah. I... She was like, it very bad there. Okay, you yeah. Know, stuff so, like that. Right, And then I was right. like, she doesn't know what she's talking right, about. Right, I'm like, right. whatever, lady. You don't get it. Yeah. Because you I have, hate when... You know, I hate when immigrants come over here and they're like, oh, we're so happy to be in America. And like, oh, we have so much more freedom here than we did in my communist country or whatever. It's like, shut up. Like, you don't. America is the worst country. It's like mm -hmm. you. Why are you coming here? Yeah. Well, I mean, we love immigrants, obviously, yeah. but like, why are they coming to America? We are. Well, that's the worst why country. that's the only reason we like America is because of immigrants. Yes, but they also shouldn't come here because the country is so bad. Yeah. 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 And we're not saying that they we're, shouldn't yeah. come here because we don't want them here. No. We definitely want them we here. We want what's but, best for them, and that would yeah, be staying so, in their communist country. So what we're saying is staying don't in come. China. Do not come. Yeah. Do there not. Come. Yeah, there you go. Don't come here, but we do want you to come here. Yes. I'm going to come. And if that doesn't make sense to you, you're just then a you fucking idiot. You don't understand this podcast. Yeah. So China actually has some controversy right now. They had a violent dispersing of a protest. I'm trying to find this. Oh, yeah. So the Henan Bank in China, they violently dispersed the protesters who were apparently peacefully protesting to try to – people were trying to withdraw their savings from the bank – and the bank wasn't letting them, so they were protesting outside. And then the authorities just kind of lit them up. And we... Wow. They killed a bunch of people? I don't think they killed anyone, but they were, like, manhandling people. And wow. I think, like, rubber bullets and gas and stuff. And we just want to say that is it is absolutely unacceptable for people to be protesting the Chinese government. Mm -hmm. Unacceptable. Yeah, that... This story makes me sick mm -hmm. that people were protesting. And now, if they you know? came here and protested our government, that, that would be good. good. Yeah, but not the how current could you, government. How could you protest like, the Chinese Communist Party? We love communism. Yeah, it's so good. It's because they say it's like nice for everybody, right? And it's definitely and, not the same party that was responsible for tens of millions of deaths. Yeah, no less than. Uh, 60, 70 years ago. Yeah. Definitely was they weren't responsible mm -hmm. for all those peasants who died. Because, yeah. I mean, who cares? They're just, you know, yeah. peasants. They were well, basically, some, and we talked, they were farmers. We talked about yeah. this, right? They were farmers and peasants who mainly died in the Cultural Revolution and stuff in China. So they're, they're basically farmers. Mm -hmm. what, what do you, what those race, the, what race do you think of when you think of a farmer? When I think of Chinese farmers, just, what no, race just, do I, no, just a farmer. Not Chinese, white, white, straight white. Men. Thank you. There, yeah. Thank you. So they were basically white. So yeah. who gives a shit? 
So yeah, so these white Chinese men that you're talking about, <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah, they were basically white guys. Yeah, so. Chinese farmers. Oh, I'm a are, farmer. They, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they talk like they that. They talk too. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And act like that. Probably yeah. sexist. Mm-hmm. Probably racist. Because mm-hmm. that's that that's a staple of farming. Right. Is is racism, is racism and, and sexism. Yeah. And well, because it's like a low IQ. Yeah, because that's like a how woman we feel doesn't do all. yard work. Right. You know. So, like, right. if you're a man, you have to mow your lawn, yeah. and like j- farming is like you just have a big yard. Yeah. So it's like the most misogynistic yard. Totally. Because the size. Yeah. Oh, you need a yard that big? Ew. Right. You know? Like that's kind of man spreading much. Yeah, that's exact. That's what farming is. It's just farming is man spreading. It's just wide scale man spreading. Yeah, you're man spreading land to grow food for everybody. What an asshole. Right. What a jerk. Yeah. How dare you? That's what, we, that's what we say about farming. That's right. Get your food from the grocery store like we do. Right. Which doesn't come from farms. No. Yeah. It has nothing to no. do with farms. Right. It's not food that's farmed there and, and then, then just sent to the grocery truck. store. Yeah. That's a different thing. Yeah. Yeah. So pff, people aren't as smart as us. That's yeah. the problem. And yeah. And if none of that made any sense to you, then. And if you were yelling at your TV or whatever you're listening to this on and you're like, you fucking idiots, that's. The, the only reason there's grocery stores is because of farming, then you're dumb. Yeah. We're the smart ones. Where's your fucking podcast? Yeah. God, how many times do we have to say it's, how smart we are in order for you to understand how smart we are? We went to liberal arts college, okay? That's right. Our parents paid the tuition and we got to go all four, 50, all a year. five years or however long it took. Right. Well, I I don't think technically you've graduated. I think you're well, still kind of. Well, I got a couple of credits left to get, but yeah. I I mean I I could major in racquetball. I took it so many times. Right. So right. and I'm fucking pretty good. I think you have a good chance of finishing under ten years mm-hmm. of your yeah your degree. Mm-hmm. You're a super senior. For so what? under yeah, I mean, and that's why I still hang out at the college. Well, oh yeah. I'm always hanging out there because I'm I still go there. Right. I have a student pass. They don't even card me anymore, but I, I like show it to them because I'm like, I do go here, I swear. Right. They're like, you're you're too old to be and, here. You got to go. <laughs> and you're not just putting off graduating so you can just have access to all these student facilities. And yeah. just I know hit you're volunteering to women. holding all these women's feet during a keg stand, but you got to go. Yeah. You know, and it's like I'm I started the frat. OK, I'm right. in here. Right. So. We're brothers for life. Mm hmm. What, you're going to kick me out They're of like, the house? They're like, you're old enough to be my dad. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, all right? I'm, yeah. the, I'm, the fa- I'm the father of this fraternity. I'm a founding father. Yeah. So I am your dad, bitch. And all these, so I have first priority on right. these women who I'm taking care of. You guys are Now, who's problem. trying to get some on the pong table? Yeah. We'll fucking wreck you. That's us <laughs> raining on the fucking pong table. That's right. Yeah, raindrops, dude. Yeah, just buckets all yeah, day. Yeah, get ready because the boys are. The boys don't forecast miss. calls for rain. Yeah, it's gonna be a wet one. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. So, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, global turmoil. China mm-hmm. yeah. people <laughs> running on from beer pong <laughs> to global turmoil. There's a run on the banks in China. Stop yeah. if you're. Chinese listening to yeah, this. Put stop. the pong ball down right. and listen about this Chinese. Right. Yeah, stop protesting the banks and listen to the government because the Chinese Communist Party is always right. Look, they're trying to keep your money in there because it's safe in there. Yeah. E- or there's, n- there's not any there's money nothing, to take right. out. There's nothing weird but to see But just leave here. it in there. Yeah. Just, just shut up Good about Good things it. will happen. Yeah, yeah, just shut up. You'll get so, it later. Yeah. So other Asian countries are in turmoil. Sri Lanka has had a big like mutiny on the government they sri lanka is an asian country yes okay it's off the coast of india mm. yes nice. yeah pull up in the monster auto or what pull up in the monster automobile automobile gang gangster with a bad bitch that came from sri lanka you ain't black nice <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the Tonka color of Willy Wonka. You can be the king, but watch the queen conquer. Wow. Who, what those, is that? Nicki Minaj oh, and okay. Monster. Wow, you are so connected. I'm so plugged in. Despite to, you ain't black. being not black, well, you are very connected. I have a black card. 
Mm-hmm. I'm ba- I'm an honorary black. Yeah. Okay. I have a pass to say it. Uh, right. Who gave me that pass? No one. I mean, mm-hmm. it was self. It's an earned but, pass. Right. Yeah. I am an honorary member of the black community. Mm -hmm. This podcast, I mean, it's literally in the title of our podcast. It's the only podcast dedicated to providing a voice for women Women and and people people of of color. color. Mm -hmm. And so I can, I'm basically black. Yeah. So I can just pull off those Nicki Minaj bars like that. No problem. You can play it at karaoke and you can say all the words. Oh, I can. yeah. Yeah. And it's like, it's like bleeped out on the screen. They have like asterisks, but, you but know I, it. I'm you know saying it. it. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, I'm for sure. Yeah. yeah, and then everyone gets really weird about it. Everyone gets quiet, mm-hmm. starts like pulling their phones out. It's like, what's gonna happen? But the, well, they're recording because you're because I'm it. so good. You're fucking killing it. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Yes. So if you are, as Nicki Minaj says, if you are a bad bitch who came from Sri Lanka, mm-hmm. and you are struggling with this because now you know there's going to be all these problems there's you know the um electrical services food like basic services in sri lanka are gonna like who's gonna control them now with like no government it's basically like anarchy there Mm -hmm. so and there were videos of people like in the in the um the government people's palace and like swimming in their pool and stuff and and yeah, so who knows what's gonna happen there? They yeah. have like no government now. So yeah. if you are a bad bitch who came from Sri Lanka and you need a place to crash, and, hit us yeah. up in our DMs. And people need to be governed, and that's why we encourage Sri Lankan women to come over here to the Two Woke Boys podcast studio and let us tell you how to how to live your life. Yes, because we will govern you. Yes, you will be governed hardcore. That's right. By the two woke boys. That's right. So, and this, you know, we are a full on government. Uh, you know, we. Who's the president between us? us. Or we're co we're co presidents. Right. Nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. We are the parliament. Okay. And the. We we're the, the judge, the jury, and the executioner, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. I hit the wrong button, but that's that's what. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. We are all of that. That's, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, hit us up. Sri Lankan hot women Mm -hmm. and we will help provide some stability to your very unstable life right even if you're not living in even if you're just some might say we are unstable but right we're very stable yeah all our ex-girlfriends would say that we're severely mentally unstable but that's because they don't have good mental health and it has nothing to do with how we treated them no we didn't contribute to their poor mental no And then, I mean, we did tell them they were crazy all the time, but that's because we know that they were crazy. Right. Because we are healers, and we try to find women who are crazy, and then we try to heal them. Right. We like a good fix-up project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we do eventually, fuck, I've had enough. i got to get away from this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But it's, you know. Yeah. Because we care about our mental health. Right. At the expense of your mental health. Mental health is so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And- I'm I'm just gonna say it. You know, yeah, I don't I don't I don't care anymore. Wow, that's I don't that's care really anymore. Brave to to say that. Mental health is important. Mental health is important. Wow. And if you disagree with that, then fuck you. Maybe unsubscribe to the podcast if you don't think mental health is important. I just wanna die. Yeah, I mean I don't want to die. Yeah, but we don't. I don't. If either. you are a girl who feels that way and you're hot. Mm-hmm. We will help you yeah. not want to die. Mm-hmm. So, exactly. other global turmoil. Boris Johnson stepped down as the leader of the Conservative Party in the UK. So he's, yeah. There's there's turmoil there. Emmanuel Macron, the French leader, is being pressured to step down over some stuff there. So there's just so much global turmoil and and you may be like watching and reading the news and thinking like, oh God, so much is going on. Uh, What am I going to do? Who am I going to turn to? Us. Exactly. Turn to us. We will, we are the eye in the storm that will provide stability and comfort. I'm speaking. And safety to you for one night. We are, and we, maybe more yeah. if things go well. But. And, and much like the eye of the storm, 
it was wild, and then you you have there's like a calmness, and then get ready because it's gonna fucking get wild again. Yeah, and that's when we're gonna you're gonna get thrown from wherever you are. Right, and if you happen to be in the two woke boys apartment, we're gonna be. You gotta go. Right, right. Yeah, but maybe <clears throat> you know we'll let you stay till the morning if things go well. If you're cool, yeah. 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 So, yeah, let's see what else is going on. Oh, okay, we got to talk about this. This Zach Wilson. And look, we want to preface this by saying we hate sports. Mm -hmm. We don't know what, I mean, a, apparently there's a football team called the New York Jets. Okay. So Zach Wilson. And apparently is a, there's a guy named Zach Wilson on it yeah. who's the quarterback. Okay. He's the quarterback of the New York. Jets? Yeah, and apparently the quarterback is the guy who throws the football around. Yeah. Mm. And guess what? They're usually white. Mm -hmm. uh, racism? Yeah. yeah let, I mean, me, let me, the white guy, oh, I'm the white guy, so let me play the position that requires uh, brains and leadership and mm -hmm. high IQ while all the, the fast black guys run along me. I'll just throw it to the black guy and let him get lit up by the linebacker. And, yeah. and meanwhile, there's rules to protect me and, you know, got to protect the white guy. Yeah. So, you know. it's Football is racist. Yes. You know. And it's slavery. Yeah. As it uh, Colin Kaepernick was talking about, it is no different. He than did make a good point in comparing slavery to football to while trying to get back into football. Correct. That was that Stockholm was, syndrome. That was yeah, and it, it was unfortunate for him because he like felt he needed to get back to the thing that oppressed him. Yes, for millions of dollars. Yes, you know. So this New York Post article says Zach Wilson's ex girlfriend appears to be dating his college roommate, Washington Commanders wide receiver Dax Milne or Milne. I don't know. After she seemingly accused the Jets quarterback of cheating on her with his mom's best friend. Wait, are you saying that this NFL quarterback was cheating on his girlfriend? Yes. Wow. I what a shocker. I can't believe What a shocker that the big Chad Jock yeah. cheats on his beautiful girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I mean, we would never cheat on a girl who looked like we that. We would never cheat on her. That being said, we would enter in a polyamorous relationship that and is one-sided. Yes. We are allowed to hook up with whoever we want, and you'll know about it because we are transparent boys. But Once you, you will, find out about the first one, yeah, then you'll yeah, find yeah, out. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can't just, you know. We don't want to hurt her feelings. So dating we don't. us is a, a learning process, yeah. and you will learn about our polyamory by finding out eventually. You know? Yes. And then once you find out, we will tell you about what we think you already know. Yes. And then if you n learn other stuff, then I guess we'll agree to that or deny it. We don't know. But probably depends. Deny it. Yeah, yeah, it depends on the situation. Yeah. But, you know, it. Anyway, we're in a we'll be in a polyamorous relationship, so there will be no cheating on our end. Right. Now, you can definitely cheat and we're not we're not like don't do that. You know, right. But if you cheat on us, it we will be livid. livid. Yeah. So livid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's going to be some holes and some walls, <laughs> to, you know, at yeah. a bare minimum. Mm -hmm. But that's what you will get from us. The right. bare minimum. Yes. That's what the two woke boys provide. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because we believe in you. Yeah. We believe in your independence. To be a girl and, boss. Yeah. What, what do we have to control you and tell you what to do and pay for your dinner no, and no you you got this that. you got Babe, all you got this yeah you pay for everything yeah we'll have a joint bank account that like your bank account will be joint by us right and we're just we gonna will have our own bank account and you're not fucking touching yeah that you're not bank. touching that yeah yeah we're gonna make you sign a prenup yeah to, to dating us not even a marriage situation right. there's a prenuptial agreement she's like this there's no such we're thing. Just this is not up. legally like, this is, binding. We're not yeah. even in a, a committed relationship. Right. This is a casual relationship, and you're still making me sign a prenuptial right. agreement. And we're like, just don't read just the fine print. Hey, yeah, just, just sign, sign the 45 page yeah. document. Do you read okay? the iTunes terms of no. service when it, you it, sign just it? Think no. of it like that. Yeah. You're just going to listen to some cool tunes. Yeah. And that's it. Right. So chill out. 
there's we don't have time to read all this because right. we got other stuff to do. There's definitely nothing very nefarious concealed yeah. in these documents. We, we gotta you gotta sign this real quick because you are gonna pay for our trip to Disneyland that we're going on. Yeah. Okay, so just sign it and let's get this show on the road here because I want to ride Space Mountain. All right. Nice. Yeah. So yes, so Milne, the other guy, the friend, the quarterback appeared to reveal his relationship with his one-time best friend's ex, Abby Gile, with a romantic Instagram post on Sunday. So she posted a picture of them on her account after she broke up with Zach Wilson, the quarterback guy, a while ago. Wait, so... And started dating his best friend, or his, his former best friend and college teammate. Wait, former best friend? So they're not well, they don't, best friends So someone, someone found that they don't follow each other on Instagram anymore. I mean, pr probably... Because, because of, of this? That. I mean, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this probably didn't help their friendship. Yeah. So um, she posted a picture with the new guy, and then someone, con some misogynistic asshole, commented on their homie hopper, which mm -hmm. is just so fucking misogynistic. And then she commented back. I'm looking for the exact. She commented on the homie hopper. Yeah, she replied. She replied saying, uh, "Let's see." Oh, in a since deleted comment, she said that Wilson, quote, was sleeping with his mom's best friend. That's the real homie hopper. She wrote with two laughing emojis. She was, wait, say that again. So she said that he, her the ex, the yeah. quarterback, was cheating on her with his mom's friend. He, okay, so his mom. Zach Wilson's mom has a friend. Yes, and he was banging her. That's what is being alleged. Okay, by the ex-girlfriend. So then she deleted her account and stuff, and the story hasn't been corroborated yet. Mm -hmm. But we, I mean, we believe her. We believe all women. We believe right? all women. Yeah. And like, what a shock, right? That a that a jock, the quarterback, mm -hmm. you know, the quarterback jock guy strikes once again. What a shock that that guy would be unfit. Why date the quarterback when you could date me, the poet? Mm -hmm. I'm so much smarter and like, I just so much nicer than the quarterback. So much more poetic. Yeah. I definitely don't have all this built up anger and resentment and some would call it an incel mentality. Yeah. That has just because of a lifetime of rejection has just turned me into more angry, misogynistic, and mm -hmm. bitter than any good-looking guy could ever be? No. No, that's it's not, not that no. at all. Yeah. That's I'm not what's so nice. Do. I'm so nice. God, I'm so nice. I'm so fucking nice. Just let me show you how fucking nice I can be, you bitch. Why don't you ever date me? I'm nice. I'm so fucking nice. God damn it. Oh, I'm so fucking nice. Why won't anyone let me show them how nice I am? Fuck. God damn it. Shit. So this, yeah. <laughs> this, uh, yeah. You know, we're nice boys. And. Okay, I, I think I may have let my emotions it's okay. get We're, in the way. This is an emotional this podcast. This is a mental health podcast. This is a mental health podcast. And sometimes you have to just release your emotions. Mm -hmm. And yeah. This is a therapy podcast. Yeah, so, th so I consider you, I mean, like no homo, but yeah. I consider you, you're kind of like my therapist. I am a therapist. When I can sit down every week and just kind of talk out my problems, mm -hmm. I am a uh, I, licensed it's so, therapist. It's therapeutic. Yeah, I'm me. a licensed therapist. I made a license on uh, like a editing program and just like printed a, out. Yeah, you know, Microsoft it's like a sheet Word of paper. Yeah. So whatever, yeah. I just framed it and it looks really good on my wall. Right. And I do have a couch that you know, I'll you know I'll let. You know, I do therapy mostly for women. Right. Only women. Only women. Yeah. And then uh, I have them on my couch, and it's a love seat, so we have to sit like really close. And then yeah. I'm just like, yeah, tell me about. It. Tell me about all this. And then the arm. Oh, and the arm's going right goes around. Goes around. Arm goes right around. Just because I'm like, hey, I want you to feel comfortable. So right. you know, I'm putting my arm around you. And then I'm like, Is, are you comfortable like with my arm around you? That's cool. Okay, cool. And then I'm like, hey, I'm going to play some tunes. Do you like R. Kelly? And then I'll play some R. Kelly. And then she'll, she might, sometimes they'll say like, he did fucked up stuff. Right. I'm like, yeah, he did. But this song is pretty fire. So let's just keep that going. Right. Let's not think about the. 
the stuff he did outside the, of the sex music. trafficking and yeah. racketeering yeah. yeah the music is yeah we're separating the, the art from the artist yeah, yeah yeah so so just don't just let the vibe happen you know right i got my arm around you mm. i'm like listening to your problems you know and sometimes you'll ask me are you listening to me and i'm like uh-huh uh-huh right whatever babe and then i you know i'm also rubbing your leg you right know, with I got my yeah with hand your consent on your leg, yeah and then i'll kind of I'll, I'll pull my hand a little closer like over your you know over your stomach and like over your <laughs> like above if, your if vagina she, yeah area. if she wants that yeah, yeah yeah of course and i'm just like you know it's, it's cool i'm just kind of like relaxing you and then i'll right. kind of rub my hand over her over her vagina area and i'll feel the heat <laughs> right well i, I think off. i think we've heard enough detail into yeah. what yeah i don't want to get into your... my whole therapy regimen yeah and how yeah that i seems really like... get into my therapy yeah yeah things but right right because you don't want to you know give mm -hmm. all your your tricks of the trade away yeah. of what makes i got the... a lot of tricks so if you're yeah. a woman what make you up. the great the great therapist you are mm -hmm. so so yeah, hit up Chris if you want to do some of his unauthorized and unlicensed by the state therapy sessions. It sounds like it would be but there is a really license helpful. on the wall. on the wall, yeah. right? And it yeah. is covering up a hole that was punched in it earlier. Correct. If you're asking why it's mounted so low on the wall, right? <laughs> right. You know, you're like, why is it? Why is it? Why do you have to look down? Don't you yeah. usually put? Diplomas like yeah. high, like above your no. Mm. You put it right no. at about yeah fist level yeah, yeah. yeah and then why is there like limp biscuit posters right next to right it, you know? yeah and it's like doesn't that kind of detract from the the vibe of the uh, higher a little education little bit but it's all it's all part of the vibe that i'm setting in the in the office so yeah so just let it happen you know yep yep so, so let's see we want to talk about this florence Pugh, the actress Mm -hmm. posted something i'm looking for is this the post in question is this the the post that oh yeah yeah yeah. so yeah let me pull that one up florence Pugh yeah i'm here. just gonna really kind of study this picture for a bit okay i think yeah this is this is helpful for me to just kind of you know we just it's nice, a very helpful yeah i i looked study. at it for like a while yeah, yeah yeah it's good so so uh florence pew this uh actress she oh, uh okay i'm starting she, to get a good sense of these pictures you know yeah so um let's see yeah Fl okay so the article on cnn reads florence pew slams vulgar men who attacked her for wearing revealing dress okay so florence pew this uh really attractive actress wants the world to know that she is proud of her body nipples and all so she's an actress on the movie or on the show Black Widow, and uh, she addressed the aggressive and vulgar criticism she received after sharing a picture on social media of her sheer gown that she wore to the Valentino hot culture or hot couture show in Rome. Okay, so so basically, she's wearing this pink dress. You can see right through it. You can see her nips and everything we love that and that's really brave and you know and just awesome you know so we support it and it definitely like you know for her to be so body positive and let us see her tits like that is really just a cool thing and we love that and uh it's definitely like you know Let's see. According to Pew, she was expected she she expected commentary on her choice of outfit. And she said it was interesting to witness how easy it was for men to totally destroy a woman's body publicly and proudly. So it isn't the first time and it certainly won't be the last time a woman will hear what's wrong with her body by a crowd of strangers. What's worrying is just how vulgar some some of you men can be she wrote yep to her 7.5 sounds million about Instagram right followers. other men are vulgar mm -hmm. other men are trash yeah i mean but we, we were, are not no, one of them we were actually complimenting her yeah and we were we wrote comments like nice tits and let me like let me suck yeah. your nips yeah you know? right i wonder what's under that dress yeah well you know? no you don't wonder because you can literally you can see, see right but, through it yeah, yeah. yeah so i mean she's literally wearing like what you would wear like for sex as a outfit Right. And that's, we love that and we support that. 
uh, unless of course you're dating us. Then if you're dating us, we will be like, do not wear that. Wear this like burka situation, you know. We that's why we give you our hoodie. Yeah, it's like an American. What's it, what's that thing? Hijab, you know. Yes, we love that because yeah, it's do. empowering for mm. for women. It's empowering for a woman to cover up her entire her entire body, body except, except for her, her eyes. eyes. Yeah, which and if we could cover those up, we would. We too. still would. Yeah. yeah. So, so. Hey, are you looking at my girl's eyes? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, my girl, you think she has good eyes, huh? Yeah. Oh, you like her eyes? Yeah, they're 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 bright. They're sexy. Yeah, you you like my girl's eyes? Stay away from my fucking girl's eyes. Don't make eye contact with my girl. And then we'll have a con- uh, uh, a conversation with her about like I saw you make eye contact with that right. guy. Right? Did you make eye contact Did you with that guy? Fuck that guy with your eyes. She's like, I you was fuck that guy. You might as well have had sex with him. Yeah. With your fucking eyes, bitch. Right. What the fuck? And she was like, I was looking at. She was that like, I was for? looking at the cashier to place my sandwich order. It's like that's unacceptable. You want to fuck a guy from Jimmy John's? Is yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. You want to oh, have I bet sex he's gonna with be a guy? Freaky fast. Yeah. Yeah. He Won't is gonna he? be freaky fast. He's gonna bust real quick, and yeah. it's not gonna be fun for you at all. She's like, I'm not sure. I'm like, she's like, I'm second guessing this relationship. You're, you're really controlling. And, and then we're gonna be like, up. whoa, relationship. Yeah. yeah. Wait a well, second. Yeah. Well, you said we're yeah, in a relationship. Excuse me. She's like, yeah. You make me wear this burqa out. It's yeah. like that's just for your own good. It's like for, you don't it's want cold to... out in yeah. Southern California. Yeah. In she's July. like, it's mid July. Yeah. Extremely hot out. Look, it's only ninety degrees. Yeah. It could be. You know, that's. And you're digits. in an all black. We're wool. in the middle of global warming and it's only 90 degrees. So, yes. you know, it could be a lot hotter. Yeah. So anyway, we feel bad for Florence Pugh getting and all this hate. And the, the other thing we too would about never this, say that stuff. We would never say that stuff to her unless we were dating her uh, exclusively, which we wouldn't do. But, you know, it will be one way exclusive. She would be exclusive right. to us and then not. She, she, she wouldn't is, be allowed to go to this event, honestly. Right. Yeah. She'd be in our apartment, like kind of just in here. Right, right. Yeah, like a like a Britney Spears conservatorship. Conservatorship, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. But we, so there's, she's been in a relationship with Zach Braff, mm-hmm. who is like twice her age, who, I mean, he's like o- older than us. What does that guy have that we don't have? I mean, he's like a famous actor. And? Um, he's like really rich, I think. And? Um... You know, he's well connected, I guess. And it, I mean, I don't, I, I can't think of anything. I just things. mentioned as a couple of things yeah. that I don't. Those think. are like small Those things. Those are things that no one cares about yeah. being rich and does, powerful. And does he have a feminist a podcast? I don't think so. Yeah. I, yeah. Pro- so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess no on yeah. that. So, so she's been dating him for years. There's rumors that they broke up, but it, nothing is confirmed. But we want to turn those rumors into reality. Mm-hmm. So, Florence, break up with your fucking old ass boyfriend and date a couple. How old is Zach Braff? Uh, like mid forties. Okay, yeah. So he is definitely older than than the than the boys. Yeah. So he's older than the boys. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. Um, now get also with, get too, with, hook up with us. We would uh, we would be so much nicer to you. With 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 her facing this backlash, it's crazy because it, let's think about it this way too. What if the shoe was on the other foot, right? Mm-hmm. What if a man went to that event and you could see his cock <laughs> and balls through a sheer pair of pants? Mm-hmm. No one would say anything. You don't think so? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, people don't judge men like that, right? If you see a dude's giant cock through his pants because he's wearing see-through pants. There would be no problem. Nothing. Not at all. No one would. No one Not would raise peak. an eyebrow. Right. No one would be like, "Dude, I can literally see your entire dong. I can see the veins of your piece, dude." Jeez. No one would say that. Yeah. But the second a woman wears a shirt with her tits completely, you know, available, because the shirt is completely see through, now we're gonna have a problem with it. Unbelievable! It's crazy that we live in a society where a <sighs> man could. You know, he ha, uh, this why is, are men? It's literally never happened that a man has wore a see-through outfit where you can see his penis through his pants. But if it did happen, we know the result would be no backlash. Why are men? I I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. And I'm a man myself. Yeah. So, and I'm sorry. That I'm a man. Yeah, we're both sorry. We wish we weren't men. So it's just unfortunate that yeah. women have to, you know, if they want to show their 
pussies and vaginas and their tits out in their clothes that they get backlash for publicly being basically nude. Yeah, we would never, like you said, we were commenting nothing but favorable stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, nice yeah, tits. Right. Fucking wonder hell, what, yeah. Wonder what's on. The, sit on my face. Yeah, wonder what's yeah. under there. Yeah. yeah. And, um, mm -hmm. So I mean, we're not the bad guys. Yeah, we 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 sent her, we sent her very public comments on the post and some and very private very, DMs, very too. private comments. Yeah, you know, it's like and we might have shown we, some, it, done a little exposing of some of our yeah, because it's like hey, as well. yeah, we may have led in with solidarity, a, with a yeah, with a dick right. pic that says, hey, you showed me yours, so I'm going to show you mine. Exactly. Here's my penis. Right. And thank you for showing me your nips. And for some reason. She didn't open the messages. You, she, yeah, well, she hasn't seen it yet. Right. We get it. You know, yeah. you, you have 7.5 million followers. We, right. we we understand what it's like to have that many followers. Right. We have about the a thousand yeah. something on Instagram, so that's pretty close. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. We have 1.5K on Instagram. Yeah, what's, a, like a, what's I mean, a few million yeah, difference? a couple million more. It's not yeah. that many more, really. Yeah. So, I mean, we get it. So right. We know what it's like to be celebrities because we have a podcast and we have tons of fans. Yes. So yeah, we should wrap up. We're at about we're at an hour right now. So. Got it. Got it. Um, did you have anything you want to plug? I don't think so. Just be sure to hit me up in my DMs. Any of the women in these kind of countries facing turmoil, Sri Lankans, British, French. Also, there's still a war in Ukraine happening for our dumbass listeners who didn't know about that. Russia is still attacking them so you know ukrainian women hit me up in my dms to have safe haven at my apartment studio for for one night and yeah who else oh florence pew hit me up break up with zach braff and hook up with me mm -hmm. and anyone else i think that's about it oh grimes too hit me up and uh you know i'll make an accept usually i only date like normal women with like two names yeah yeah but i'll make an exception for like a weird like alt girl with one name and mm. and i'm i'm an alien it's like all right yeah whatever Weirdo. star seed yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll make an exception for her yeah that's, so, that's very brave of you yeah thank you that's so nice. so hit me up i'm um, a generous guy yeah now if uh you are in no, this will be coming out after I'm in Austin, Texas. So thank you for those of you that saw me in Austin, Texas. And if you didn't come, you missed the show. You, you missed fucking it. fucking idiots. Yeah, you dumbass. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this week I will be in Louisville, Kentucky. So or come. You or, or oh, ally sorry, of the ally show. Ally of yeah. the show, Jeff Zinisek, will be in Louisville, Kentucky. So come check that, that out. God, I, I, what is Colonel Sanders down there? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> some slave owner chicken guy yeah i, I hope ally of the show jeff zanisek berates them for how racist they are down there because they are all racist in yeah, kentucky he he definitely will yeah so um yeah come check that out and then also jeff zanisek added some new dates in uh let's see philadelphia or sorry, uh, Philadelphia, uh, Clive, Iowa, Topeka, Kansas, and Wichita, Kansas. Um, also, Buffalo, New York, Salt Lake City coming up also. So check those dates on uh, Jeff's in a sex calendar um, and come see him do stand-up. Also, uh, thank you guys for following the podcast. Uh, the YouTube channel is going pretty good right now, so keep uh, commenting on the page, and we'll try to rep re reply to you guys. Yeah, we appreciate all our new listeners and viewers who have discovered us recently. Mm -hmm. Thank you for following the boys, and, mm -hmm. and we hope you spread the, the gospel of the yeah. boys man far and wide. The man spread and mansplain mm -hmm. the boys yeah. to everyone you know, especially women. hot women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, And then post about it in your Instagram stories, and yep. we will repost you. Yep. And then uh, give us five-star reviews on Spotify and five-star reviews on iTunes. We'll read the fun ones on the show uh, on iTunes because you can like write out what it says or whatever. 
and then uh, send us emails. We will we would love to uh, respond to some of your guys' emails. Two woke boys at gmail dot com, and uh, you know please follow us on all of our platforms. We have YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, we have Facebook and Twitter too, but Instagram, Facebook, or sorry, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Those are like the main ones. So follow us on theirs. Uh, also follow allies of the show, Malcolm Kellner and Jeff Zinasek on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, that being said, thank you for listening to episode 103 of the podcast. Oh yeah, and also donate to our Venmo or Cash App, The Slut Fund. So uh, thank you for listening to episode 103 of the Two Woke Boys podcast. I am Chris. And I'm Cole. And together we are two Woke, woke boys. boys. Can you hear my voice this time?